Diane sat down with Hillary Clinton for that exclusive one on one conversation. No questions off limits, including Hillary Clinton's own health, that concussion. And what about her age after one Republican said if she runs, it would be like the Golden Girls. What does she say to that? Tonight here, your first look at the Diane Sawyer interview, beginning with the president's decision to trade those Taliban detainees for Bo Bergdahl. Did he make a deal with the devil on releasing those five Taliban? I think this was a very hard choice, which is why I think my book is so aptly named. If you look at uh, what the factors were going into the decision, of course there are competing interests and values. I mean, one of our values is we bring everybody home off the battlefield the best we can. It doesn't matter how they ended up in a prisoner of war situation. It doesn't matter? It does not matter. We bring our people home. How is your health? It's very good, thank you. How serious was it? It was, you know, it was a, uh, I think, a serious concussion. But fully. the clot, in addition, if the yes. clot had dislodged, well, can I tell you, that's what's that, that was a scary point. You I had rested. trouble with vision. I, I had because of the force of the of the fall. I had some. I had double vision for uh, a short period of time, and I had some dizziness. Did you have trouble talking? No, none of. No, I had no. I had no problems. The only thing I had headaches. No, I didn't. I didn't. Ha I didn't have any of that. I didn't. I. I felt fine, and I felt it was kind of silly that I was supposed to stay in bed. I. I ran into Congressman uh, Paul Ryan at the inauguration last year. And I had read, he was this great athlete. And I said, Congressman, did you ever have a concussion? He goes, oh, yes. He said, I had several, I think three. And the last one was serious, but my mother was smart enough to make me stay in. Because what happens to athletes, soldiers, young people in car accidents, all the reasons why people get concussions, is they kind of shake it off. And, and I felt like, you know, I can, I can get back up. I can go to work. And the doctor said, no, you're going to stay and rest because then you will have a complete recovery. So fast forward, I go home for Christmas, go to New York for Christmas, and I want to go back to work. And so my doctors say, okay, let's just do um, you know, an MRI to make sure that everything's healing as we think it is. So here's what they say. They say, the good news is the concussion is totally resolving. Like we told you, it's going to be fine. The bad news is you've developed a clot behind your right ear and you must immediately go to the hospital because we have to immediately put you on blood thinners. Because you'd had a clot in your right leg before I had. when you were traveling. I Are had. they related? Yes. So uh, blood thinners now. Blood thinners, yeah. yeah. For life. Probably, but I don't mind because I don't ever want to have to go through that again. So no lingering effects? No lingering effects. Of any kind? No. Nope. So you would release your medical records if you ran for president? I would do what other candidates have done, absolutely. And what would you like to say to Karl Rove about <laughs> your brain? That um, I know he was called Bush's brain in one of the books written about him, and uh, I wish him well. <laughs> <laughs> Age. Age, yes. Isn't it great to be our age? Mitch McConnell said at one point that 2016 will be the return of the Golden Girls. That was a very popular, long-running TV series. <laughs> <laughs> you can watch the entire interview, Diane Sawyer with Hillary Clinton, Monday night, 9 p.m. Eastern. Nothing off the table. Her marriage, her plan for 2016, and when we will all know whether she's going to run. A look inside Clinton's life like we have not seen before on the eve of her new book, Hard Choices, the primetime special, Monday night, right here.